What is good guys, back in my World Cup semi-finals, this time Blana from Canada versus Psychic Mewtwo from US West. Uh, the score is 4-4 at the moment, really close series, we got Oras and uh, GSC left. Uh, let me talk about the teams, it's gonna be Spikes, Ferro, it's really obvious. It could be Double Hazard, Ferro, so on, or it could be Spikes and Ferro and Rocks on Tran. And yeah, the Clef is most likely gonna be Karma, and we all, lo we all know Blana loves his Karma and Clefable, then um, probably SD Gliscor. Uh, I guess Taunt is an option as well, but Gliscor is more common, I think. Then, um... The Slowbro could be Leftovers or Mega. If the Slowbro is Mega, that would mean the Alakazam is Life Orb. If the Slowbro is Leftovers, that would mean the Alakazam has to be the Mega. And on Psychic Mewtwo's side, probably a Mega Gyarados, a uh, Rocks Clefable, which could be Rocks Command or Rocks T-Wave. Then uh, probably SD Gliscor, one of these two has to be Scarf. I assume the Magnezone is going to be Scarfer. And the Lardy is either like Specs or Life Orb, um, probably some sort of Defog Lardy uh, to keep Rocks off from Mega Gyarados. And a Tangros is... Yeah, I'm not sure if it's AV or Helmet. I think it's Helmet. And uh, yeah, the Seatron is probably Spadeftron on Blunder's side, which helps him deal with opposing Alakazam. So Blunder could just go for Rocks or Toxic here. Uh, I assume Rocks is going to be the play for Blunder if he has them. And Psychic Mewtwo, if he has a coverage move like Surf, he can go for that. Or if he doesn't have anything to hit the Heatron with, he can just go into his Gliscor here, um, which would also cover the Toxic from the Heatron. And will activate the Toxic Orb. The only way Gliscor doesn't work out for him is if the Heatron goes for Lava Plume. But he goes for Psychic there, I think expecting Blana to switch out into Clefable to maybe scout for Surf. I'm not sure about that play turn 1, um, Blana just got 3 rocks. And yeah, this is definitely Spadeftran, he took nothing from the Psychic from Life or Bloody. Uh, Psychic Mewtwo is trying to get a Defog off. I'm pretty sure this is, has some coverage for the trend though, because he stayed in. So yeah, he does go for Surf now, Blana gets the Alakazam in. And Psychic Mewtwo doesn't have great switch-ins for this Alakazam. Um, if the Gliss score is Spadef, it can probably switch in and take Shadow Ball into Psychic. But it's like not the greatest switch-in because it doesn't have the Toxic Orb activated just yet. So if Blunder predicts the uh, Gliss score on hard Psychics, that might just do it KO. I'm not 100% sure if uh, Shadow Ball from Alakazam kills the Ladi. I think it does though. But yeah, if the, the Gliscor is like really obvious here, so Blunder can Kalk, and if he cannot tweet KO the Gliscor, um, then he might also want to put a double into like Slowbro or Ferrothorn maybe. But Psychic might be able to tweet KO Gliscor if you predict Gliscor coming in um, with rocks and Gliscor not having a Toxic Orb activated just yet. Um, but I'm pretty sure Psychic Mewtwo's only switch in is the Gliscor, like, uh, because Clefable is probably just a Fizz Death variant. If Tang is AV, I guess he might go to that, but I think Gliscor is going to come out. So he does just go Gliscor, but not doubles into Ferrothorn. So maybe his Alakazam can't tweet kill the Gliscor, or he yeah, he just wants to get up a hazard with the Pharaoh. Well, he might want to leash it here in case uh, Psychic Mewtwo wants to go into Magnezone. Um, Psychic Mewtwo has a few options here. He can click Taunt, he can, if he has that, but I assume it's a SD Gliscor. So he goes Tangros, which would um, block a leech sheet from Blunder's Pharaoh, but not tries to go for leech sheet. Um, I, I get why he leech sheet uh, in case Psychic Mewtwo wants to go hard into... Um, the Magnezone, so now he can get up Hazards, I think. Yep. So Psychic Mewtwo is able to knock off the Ferrothorn's leftovers. And uh, Blanda could either switch out here or he could um, try to lead sheet again, expecting the Magnezone to come in. Um, Psychic Mewtwo goes for uh, Sleep Powder, predicting him to switch. But he stays in and goes for lead sheet, expecting Psychic Mewtwo to um, potentially go into Magnezone there. But I think. I mean, it's pretty much it's obvious that it's ta Helmet Tangles because it showed Sleep Powder. Um, they sometimes run HP Fire, so yeah, Blunder switches out into Clef there. Not wanting to risk uh, Magnezone coming out and trapping the Pharaoh. Well, I don't know if he would have HP Fire because he also has a Magnezone, but I remember when I played last, when I last played Auras, Tangles, uh, they used to carry HP Fire. But, um... Psychic goes in the Glisco on Clef, and Clefable runs Ice Beam super often. <laughs> Blunder even says, you already know what I got. So Psychic Mewtwo um, probably has to switch out into Magnezone. Um, I don't know why he didn't go hard into Magnezone. Uh, but yeah, now he goes into Magnezone. I assume Blunder just, is just going to go for Ice Beam. It's pretty much standard at this point in Auras. And the yeah, Magnezone, um, I guess, could go for Flash Can here. So Blunder can go for Softball to scout what the Magnezone wants to go for, or he could go hard into his Heatran, knowing that the Flash Can is going to come out. That's, like, really obvious. So Psychic Mewtwo gets a Spadaf Drop, which forces Blunder out now. Um, so either Gliscor or Heatran is going to come out for Blunder. Psychic Mewtwo doubles into Lari, which means he just he wants to get out a Defog with the Lari, and it covers the Gliscor. So he goes for... Um, Blunder predicts the Defog and he can knock off. Yep. And he's going to get rid of the uh, Lari's Life Orb. And now uh, Psychic Mewtwo can uh, just go for Roost or Recover here. 
and the next knockoff probably wouldn't kill because knockoff's power is lower after you knock off the item. Uh, Blunder knows he's gonna heal there, gets his Alakazam and then he can now click Shadow Ball or Psychic. And Psychic Muto is gonna have to go on the Gliss score again. And yeah, this time the Gliss score has the Toxic Orb activated. There's also no Hazards on Psychic Muto's side, so I'm pretty sure Gliss score um, can probably switch in. I don't remember if the Gliss was at full on the PM2 side, but I think it is at full. It just, oh, it's at 88, okay. So Psychic might be a roll to 2 hit KO if it's at 88. I thought it was at full, my bad. So it does 49, but with the poison hit is at 51. But this is definitely a roll. And I don't know if Psychic Muto wants to risk this roll, because um, now that we know that the Alakazam is mega, that means the Slowbro is just going to be um, a Leftovers or a Helmet variant, most likely Leftovers. Which means um, this Gliscor is going to be able to put in a lot of work, because it can potentially beat... Um, SD Spadef Gliscor can potentially beat Slowbro 1v1, especially if Slowbro doesn't have Ice Beam or Calm Mind. So he, I don't think he want. I think he might have to sack something else here. I don't think you want to risk losing your Gliscor. Um, maybe sack the Ladi. I'm not 100% sure. But you definitely don't want to sack the Gliscor. And yeah, I guess if Blana doesn't want to risk the roll here, he might want to switch out into Slowbro or... Um, if he has Ice Thing on his own Gliscor, he could also go to his own Gliscor. But I assume um, it's... He already showed knockoff. No, no, never mind. Blana already showed knockoff, which means he's... Gliscor is... He goes into Clefable, which is Fizz Dev and cannot take that at all. So I don't know why he did that. Psychic Mewtwo, um, I think he just should have um, maybe sacked the Latios. But yeah, Hard Clef, uh, I don't know about that play. Oh, like, I get that you don't want to lose your Gliscor, but I don't think it's the play to just throw the Clefable out. Um, because the Spedestrian on Blunder side showed um, Rocks and Protect, which means it's probably Rocks, Protect, Lava Plume... Toxic, which means if it doesn't have Taunt, CM Clef, if it's CM Clef on PM2 side, they can potentially beat um, Blunder's Tren if it gets weakened. Um, I guess Tren can maybe PP stall if Clef is CM Rocks and only has Moonless to hit it with. But yeah, that, you don't want to sack the Clef here. I guess you can just go Lottie now if you sack it, you do and sack that, which is um, what I would have done the last turn probably. Also, um, Gliscor was at 88, not at full, so I probably would have just sacked the Ladi earlier and not switched to Gliscor in on the Psychic. Um, I thought it was at full for a second earlier, so that was my bad. But yeah, um, the Gliscor on Blunder side showed knockoff, which means um, it's knockoff Earthquake, Roost, and SD most likely, right? I was talking about Ice Thing earlier for a second, but it obviously doesn't have that if it already showed knockoff, my bad. But yeah, um, Blunder can just click Psychic here and pretty much uh, get a kill. Pretty sure um, Psychic... If Psychic doesn't tweet KO the Lari, then Psychic into Shadow Ball would kill the Lari. But I think Psychic um, probably tweet kills the Lari because the Lari is already chipped. And yeah, Psychic Mewtwo just has to pick what he wants to sack here. Unless he's banking on a mid-low roll here, so that Clef can live and he can soft build up, but that that's not the play. I think you just have to sack the Lari. Um, so he goes into Larius and Blana just clicks Psychic. It does 28, so this might be a roll, but Blana can calc it. If it's not a roll, he can just click Psychic again. And yeah, Psychic Mewtwo is just gonna sack the Ladi here, and then next turn he can go into... Uh, I think he has to go Gyarados next turn, because Magnezone is slower than Alakazam, even if it's Choice Scarf, so he has to go into Gyarados. So he does just Psychic again. Uh, crit obviously didn't matter, most likely. I think he just calc it and knew that Psychic would kill. So Gyarados comes out. Now it's between Focus Blast and Psychic here, if Psychic Mewtwo wants to Mega or stay in regular form. Um, Blana could also go hard into Ferrothorn, but... I don't know if he wants to do that. Um, but yeah, if you stay in here... But does he focus past breaking him to Mega? He's Psychic expecting him to stay regular form. I assume Psychic Mewtwo just attacks. Yep. Gets rid of the Alakazam. So that's good for Psychic Mewtwo. Um, now... He's um, gonna have to switch out here. He obviously doesn't want to take a Power Whip. So Blunder could... Blana could leech it here in case Psychic Mewtwo wants to go hard into Magnezone, but I assume he's not gonna go hard into Magnezone. I assume he's either gonna go try to heal his Clefable, or he could go into Tangrowth to block a leech sheet. And Clefable? Yeah, he does go Clef, which also blocks the um, leech sheet because it has Magic Guard and now it gets up the rocks. And if this is um, a CM Clef, um, Psychic Mewtwo can CM up, yep. And Blunder just gets up some layers. So Blunder has to either switch into Heatran or his own Clef. And we're gonna see Clefable versus Clefable action, which uh, we have seen a few times in RS this World Cup. So Blunder's gonna command up here as uh, Psychic Mewtwo gets a Spatak drop, not too bad. So Blunder has to soft build here. Psychic Mewtwo's. Uh, okay, he's just going for it, okay. 
So this is a command war. Maybe if this only has Moonblast, which I'm pretty sure it only has Moonblast, Blunder can also stall out. Oh, he gets a crit. No. <laughs> I was just going to say, Blunder can probably uh, maybe stall out this Clef with his Heatran because this Clef... Okay, so this goes Glisco, which means he's going to try to SD up. If he's maxed death, I guess he can take a Moonblast. It probably has like 65. 63, okay. Um, so Blunder has to roost here, and I guess he has to hope that the Clef gets low rolls with the Moonblast. But I don't think Glisco wins this 1v1. This Moonblast is doing a lot. And I know you just got crit, but you're also risking getting crit. But yeah, Blana did crit, um, I think Poges it was, was la last week he crit Poges. And I think he also crit one of the opposing clefs in round one. But he um, he did say that, yeah, I think he said that his clef was Psyshock early in the chat, right? So that means he could have beaten the opposing clef Fable and that hex sucks a lot. But yeah, now he goes in the heat run. this is what I was trying to say earlier. This clef has CM. Stealth Rocks, Softball, and Moonblast, which means Spadef Train can probably stall it out because Blunder has um, Protect on this Heatran, and you can, guys can see Moonblast is doing absolutely nothing. Um, he should, if anything, he should go to plus 6 before he's attacking. And the Heatran has Leftovers, which means Moonblast doing nothing, plus Heatran having Leftovers, plus Heatran having Protect, plus Rocks having 32 PP means um, Blunder can PP stall this Clefable, I think. And you can also, I guess, go for a Lava Plume crit here. Um, so, Pataki Mewtwo. Unless he crits this Hedrian or um, something like that, I think he has to crit it or switch out. Because if he doesn't, yeah, like if he stays in, he's, his Clef is gonna get PP stalled out. But yeah, um, the crit on Blunder's Clef definitely sucked. Um, since Blunder had Sajok on his Clef, which is what he said in the chat, he would have been able to beat the opposing Clef able 1v1 if, there, if no hex happens. Because um, Psyshock obviously hits the physical defense. So um, Blana has to hard switch out here because Psyche Mewtwo can SD up with the Gliscor. Yep. And now Slowbro, um, I don't think they're on Ice Beam. I think Blana's just gonna Scald, right? And Spadef Gliscor can probably eat up the Scald because um, it only does like half, right? 46, that does nothing. And Toxic Orb also healing Gliscor. So Psyche Mewtwo's Gliscor probably beats the Slowbro 1v1. Um, Blana's gonna Scald again here. Uh, Psyche Mewtwo has to Roost here, which. Um, Blana gets some uh, leftovers back that turns Psychic like Mewtwo has to heal, but I'm pretty sure Slowbro loses this 1v1. I'm not sure if this Slowbro has Calm Mind. Um, but it looks like it just loses 1v1 to this Gliscor. So this turn, um, I think he's out of range, so he can just Earthquake again. Oh, he roosts, he doesn't want to risk anything. He's trying to get um, have the Slowbro get a lower roll so he can get a bit more healthy. Now he's in guaranteed range where Slowbro can't kill unless it crits so he can just fire off another Earthquake. Um, if Blunder breaks that, he can slack off, but he doesn't. So now Blunder is kind of forced to switch out to get Regenerator. Uh, unless he wants to predict him to go for Roost, then he can stay in again and Scald. But he goes into his own Gliscor, and Saikimutu reveals his last move, which is Facade, and hits Blunder's Gliscor on the switch. So good play on Saikimutu's end there. It would have killed the Slowbro, and it covers um, Blunder going into Gliscor. And it's looking like this game is just over. Um, Psychic Mutus crit obviously sucked on the Clefable. Blana would have had to um, like Blana would have had to avoid crit for like a few turns, but then his Clef would have beaten the other Clef one we won with Psyshock. Uh, Psyshock Ice Beam really interesting Clef, which means it can't hit um, Mega Scissor. So Mega Scissor looks like a th threat to Blana's team if Heatran ever gets low. But like yeah, he does still have a Heatran. And I don't think knockoff scissor is like really that common in Auras, right? I've talked about it in the last video. So yeah, uh, the Gliscor is at plus four now, which means Earthquake is gonna do a lot. I mean he's roosting a bit here just to get Gliscor as healthy, like kind of healthy to be sure that you're not in that he's not in scald range and now he's gonna roost again. Well I guess he I guess he can just click Earthquake, he doesn't have to roost yeah. He can just click Earthquake because he outspeeds everything left on Blunder's team and he kills everything with Earthquake. So there was no reason to roost, my bad. But now he roosts on the Heatran um, in case Blunder wants to go for Protect, maybe. And you can just Earthquake the Heatran and the Ferrothorn. It's like, Mewtwo is gonna win this game for West. Um, with an unfortunate crit on the Clef, that sucked, but it happens, it's Pokemon. And Blunder also got lucky in a few games, um, last rounds of World Cup. Which, so this means now West is up 5 for um, Gretz to Psychic Mewtwo for the win. Um, yeah, besides like one or two turns, he still played fine, in my opinion. And yeah, Hex happens. But yeah, what... I mean, Psychic Mewtwo's Clef did have the advantage, had like more CMs up before Blunder's Clef, but Psyshock would have still uh, meant Blunder's Clef beats uh, the opposing Clef without Hex. So yeah, now West is up 5 for. Um, which means. Um, the last game is GSC, and Canada has to win that game. If Canada wins the last game, then there's gonna be a tie break, 
um, best of three, right? And if US West wins the last game, GSC, I don't remember who is playing, I think it's Lavos playing. If US West wins, they are in the, in the finals and they're gonna face US Northeast there. So that's gonna be hype, but I'm not gonna record GSC though. But yeah, you guys will know the next days who made finals, I will record finals live. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more content and smash that like button if you enjoyed. Peace out, friends.